nine. Um, and we'll turn our attention now to the environment, if we may, Mr. Lindsay. What are your top two environmental issues to address in Georgetown South, if elected? Well, this is a very long conversation when it comes to the environment. So if we go back to our previous conversation, I believe that we need a, we need a Clean Air Act before the DART waste and energy facility goes online. Why am I saying this? Our earlier conversation, I mentioned the issues with old and incinerators where we had to issue with acid rain. Speaking to the DART representatives, they've said that they're very thoughtful and they will ensure that when they use this single furnace where everything is dumped into, nothing is separated, that they're going to have a process where the, no the number of gases that are released in the atmosphere are reduced as much as possible. We have no public education on this. We haven't heard anything from the government on this, but this is a serious environmental issue because the incinerator won't be able to reduce all of the gases. What it will do is reduce the number of gases. The DART group also mentioned that they will follow international guidelines. I feel we need a Clean Air Act ourselves because international guidelines may contain some allowances that we may not accept as a country. We may, we may want stricter standards in place for ourselves that are stronger than international guidelines. So for that reason, I think we need a Clean Air Act before this facility goes online. Other thing